Welcome to my Pachachka presentation. Here we go. All right, so I'm not a cat person per se. I love dogs and if it were up to me, I'd probably have one. However, I happened to grow up in a household where dogs were frowned upon because my dad had been injured by them on multiple occasions. I've never had a dog, but that's all right. My cats have brought me so much joy over the years and I'm excited to share it. I think it's important for children to have opportunities to take care of a pet. You have to feed them, play with them, and clean up after them. And every kid should have this opportunity as it teaches them accountability and responsibility. But with that being said, other pets like hamsters and birds aren't nearly as cool as cats to me. When I was an infant, my family had a cat named Callie. Unfortunately, my parents had given her away in fear of her getting jealous of me. I honestly don't remember her. I was less than three years old by the time my parents gave her away. I don't have any recollection of her and I wish my parents took some pictures so I could have an idea. When I was about nine, I really wanted a bird, so we got one named Jessie who ended up being too much to handle. She hated it in our house and was violent towards women. We thought about getting a dog instead, but my dad wouldn't budge, so we came to a compromise. That's when we got Finn, an adorable Siberian kitten with big pointy ears. Super cute. Junior high was tough for me. I had a really difficult time making friends and didn't fit in, fit in at school. But Finn didn't care. He was always there for me every day to comfort me. He was super personable and super nice to everybody he met. Everybody felt welcome with him and said he was just the sweetest. My cat Finn passed away at the age of three and there was nothing we could do about it. My family and I were devastated. I didn't know what to do without him. He was practically my only friend at the time. But I bit the bullet and I pressed on because I knew that's what he would have wanted. It was my first experience losing somebody close to me and I still think about it. Cats seem to have a very self-centered demeanor. They aren't always begging for your attention, but when they are, they'll do absolutely whatever's necessary to get you to notice them. Cats have historically been seen as high status animals by humans, which is perhaps the reason they're so self-important. Blame the Egyptians. Cats and dogs are among the most common household pets in the world, and it's easy to see why. They provide us with companionship and give us purpose. Above all else, they love you no matter what. Even if at everybody work, at work doesn't like you, you have a loyal companion to come home to. Despite the maintenance, pets are ours until the end. Losing a pet is always hard to handle. Your pet is not only your companion and friend, but sometimes your partner in crime. You'll never be truly prepared for it to happen, and it may be months before you move on, but that's an unfortunate fact of life that we have to all face at some point. After about a year of no cat in the house, we all collectively decided we wanted one again. Well, two, actually. We wondered what it would be like having two best friends, so we got to work looking for a couple of cats to give a home to. Eventually, we adopted Hazy and Smokey, same breed as Finn. I love those two so much. Smokey and Hazy were very timid at first, but warmed up to us over the first month of being in the family. Being tiny and extremely adorable, it was a joy to spend every second with them. Sometimes this even meant a lot of that time was spent trying to coax them from out of under the ottoman, because they were a little bit squeamish. With cats, you won't usually have to worry about picking up their excrement, but boy do they shed fur often. If your cats fight, you'd best have a vacuum handy to deal with the furry aftermath. Cats probably aren't as messy as dogs, but they aren't without need for tender loving care. Cats love being petted and rubbed. They will rub up against you to show that they want your attention, and there is no better way to give in than to, to show them that than to give in and go along with it. That being said, don't rub their belly unless you know for sure that they want you to, because they may react savagely and you might lose an arm in the process. At first, Smokey and Hazy were similar in size, Smokey being the smaller and scrawnier than his brother. Over time, we learned of Smokey's enormous appetite, which eventually resulted in his now large size. He's usually lazy and spends most of his time sleeping, yet has demonstrated that he outmatches his brother in both sides and speed. Looks can be deceiving. Hazy is possibly the neediest cat on the planet between be begging to be let into my room every night, 
constantly knocking my stuff off the shelves and misbehaving for attention. He always knows I'm watching, but I love him so much. Can't get enough of him jumping into my arms because he wants to be held like a baby. From the start, my cats have been getting into more fights than I can count. Smokey is usually the one who instigates. At one point, he and Hazy got into a fight where he bit a chunk out of Hazy's ear, which is why we nicknamed him Mike Tyson after the boxer's infamous incident. It's a nice picture of him right there. Cats in the wild and homes alike spend more time sleeping than anything else. However, they're also incredibly agile and energetic while awake, which explains why they practically bounce off the walls playing sometimes. This is why it's great to have two cats so they can play with each other when you can't give them that attention. Cats learn from cause and effect. They misbehave and you immediately react. They take note of this and they learn that if they repeat, you will keep giving them attention. Although cats are independent animals, it's important for us to pay attention to them because if you don't, they'll learn that the only way for them to get your attention is to just keep getting in trouble with you. Getting a cat might be a good idea for you, but there are some key things to be mindful of. They are generally more independent than dogs, often loners, and good for busy lifestyles. They may not be as high maintenance as dogs, but what they lack in social skills, they make up for in love. And that's why I love cats. They are my favorite. Proving to be good companions through history and to the future, cats might be taking over more than just our hearts. When it comes to picking your next best friend, maybe consider these adorable felines. They have the most perfect nine lives for you and me to enjoy. Thank you.